right now if uh, the first guest is Snake Finger. He's with us in the studio tonight. Hello. Hello. Welcome. How's it going? Well, All right. Welcome to San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate applause it. Applause in the background. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, rubbish. Really. You've been jumping up around L.A. last week, uh, weekend down there doing some promo for your single, which yep. is great, by the way. Oh, thank you. Appreciate on Ralph it. Records. Yep. Yes, we're going to be hearing that, but uh, did you want to say something, Howie? I wanted to say that um, the, the single is number one in the um, New Wave chart in, in Sam's this week. Yeah, the brand new list that just came yeah. out, number we one. We at Ralph are very pleased and proud to <laughs> have this number one New Wave single. We'd like to thank all our fans everywhere in the world, particularly in Japan and Australia. Very Bruce, strong over thank there. Thank you, Bruce. <laughs> and Sheila, thank you too. They can hear you all the way. I know, I know. The they strong got, underground. They've got big ears too. Well, in case people who don't know what you sound like, we, before we talk to you a little bit more, I think we should go into the A-side, which is the spot, and give them an earful. Number one song in English. Uh, you are on Ralph Records, which we know is the home of the residents. Yeah, that Snake is Finger. correct. I'm there uh, with them. You want to tell the story of how you got connected with it? With the label? And the, Certainly, and yeah. The anonymous residents? Well, it all started when I went on holiday to Bavaria. I was going on a cycling holiday of some of the mountains around there, you see, at the time. And uh, I met this strange guy in the forest one day who was uh, <laughs> recording bird noises. He thought that Marla's music was based on them, you see. So uh, we got together and went around recording noises that we heard all around and uh, generally uh, calling them music. And then on our way to Munich, we heard uh, these tapes that were meant to be from these people from California who were meant to be on a similar sort of uh, level to what we were doing. So as I was thinking of going over there anyway, we just shot over, and uh, the next thing you know, we were creating the San Mateo sound together. <laughs> <laughs> Reorganizing musical... What phonetics. year was that? How long that ago? That was in 70... I hear my record company manager from behind <laughs> prompting me with the correct date being 71. 1971 was when we finally got over here. The residents um, have performed very few times, but w you played with them once at the Long Branch, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So it's there's a few people, I'm sure, who remember the rather rip birthday party that happened at the Long Branch, a rare residence appearance. That was exactly when it all happened. I remember yeah. you were up on top of a uh, kind of a, a platform and you were rocking back and forth. You looked like That's Big Bird. That's right. I was <laughs> dressed up as a giant uh, avocado at the time. <laughs> And I was on a pair Great. of ski boots that were nailed to the floor, so I could uh, move at any angle I wanted to, basically. I so loved it. It was great. Yeah. Oh. So was the record, and I think we should go back and hear side two of it. Okay, I could bear that. All right, this is a Smelly Tongues. All right, sounds great there, Cosmo. Oh, yeah. That was from the Duck Stab Residence EP that uh, Snake Finger plays violin on. Right? Yeah, that's right. It was violin on that one. A laughing violin. Hilarious, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> some other <laughs> we didn't give your background as far as some of the people you've played with i just remembered so you should do some credentials you well yeah played with the uh, old chili willies back in england a great pub band yeah yeah all right mr rubbish doesn't stop rolling these big joints i'm not going to be able to play anything <laughs> <laughs> you can't you know, that's a that on the radio. oh i'm sorry i, I retract that last statement you can't say rubbish <laughs> <laughs> no rubbish, right? <laughs> no rubbish, all right. And uh, let's see, the old Nick Lowe's and uh, the uh, the drummer from the old Willies is playing for Elvis Costello now and uh, they're making millions of bucks with uh, Jake Coe's <laughs> productions all over the world. Wonderful to see. That's all right. It's alternative music. That's always what I'm going for anyway. Oh, right. Yeah, definitely. Well, if people want to meet you, they can see you tomorrow over at Aquarius Records, which is a store I know pretty well. Definitely wonderful record store. One of the grooviest, if not the grooviest in town. You'll be there at 2 o'clock. I will be there at 2 o'clock.